Hi guys, in this lesson we're going to see um, some basic uh, information about Civil 3D Cocoa Points, that is coordinate geometry, and uh, how it is actually different from compared to a regular AutoCAD point. Okay, so in a nutshell, uh, when actually uh, if, you, if you've been an AutoCAD uh, Vivid user, you would have um, uh, created AutoCAD points. Uh, which basically you go into the AutoCAD tools to create a basic point. So if it's an AutoCAD point, you get um, uh, information from the point such as X, Y, Z uh, from the point, uh, which basically the coordinates. Uh, whereas in the case of Civil 3D point, uh, when you have a Civil 3D point on the screen, uh, you get much more information compared to an uh, AutoCAD point. So I'm going to quickly create a Civil 3D point just to explain the scenario. Um, click on points, create. I'm going to click on the first one, manual, I'm going to choose a location and then I'm going to type in a description and the elevation, here we go, we got the point. So if you look at it, if I select my point, if I go to AutoCAD properties and um, so you can see a whole bunch of uh, information about the point. So first is obviously the XYZ values, you get it. And uh, apart from that, uh, you get the uh, labeled rotation, X, Y scale, Z scale, and uh, label is pinned or not. You can actually pin your labels as well. And uh, so a whole bunch of information that you get. And some of the most important uh, stuff is uh, description information. Uh, with that one, you can sort the points into groups. Uh, you can filter them. You can search them. You can do all that. So to get uh, in-depth information about the point, you select your point, and then you click on edit list points and it sort of takes you into a view similar to an Excel sheet and uh, where you can see all this information and you can uh, type in this information as well. So raw description, if you want to say tree type one, uh, you can type it as well. And then um, you can also add other information like latitude, longitude, and uh, you can see there is a whole bunch of other properties that you can also get uh, with the Cocoa Point. So yeah, that's the basics about Cocoa Point and enjoy the rest of the lessons guys, thanks.